In any normal year, Phoenix Lake Reservoir would be nearly full around now. Today, it's barely a third of that. The dry, cracked mud, the measure of what officials say is climate change in action in California. I've been up here pretty frequently, and I think it's the last time was two or three weeks ago. And just walking up here, it's even drier. There's now an island in the middle of our, <laughs> of our reservoir that wasn't here when I was here last time. So, you know, we're definitely seeing the impacts. We're in a historic drought, right? I mean, it's the driest, you know, 2020 was the driest year in 90 years. This is, um, you know, alarming. And in some ways, I don't want to say expected, but it is clearly, you know, tied to climate change. You know, the changing climate, you know, everything we know from the scientists is that climate change is going to bring us droughts that are more frequent and more severe and more intense. And that's what we're experiencing. Phoenix Lake is one of seven reservoirs that provide water to Marin County. So low are the levels, they've imposed mandatory water restrictions. 200,000 residents told not to fill their pools or hot tubs and stop washing their cars. Jens had already replaced his lawns with artificial grass. Solar tiles help power his home. We have to do it. To see what's happening now is going to be severe. The restrictions, he says, are essential. I fully agree with it. It, it has to, otherwise we're not going to get in here. Uh, I, it's hardship, but certainly we can, we can live with it. From his house, you can see the bridge where, in the 70s, they built a pipeline to bring water across the bay. It's an option again now as the US government agency that monitors the seas and atmosphere confirmed an upward trend in average temperatures. Almost all of this, the country's most populous state, is in drought, much of it classed as extreme. The numbers here are striking. It's been 40 years since this water level was so low and only once in 140 years that they had less rain. And yet what really worries them here is that we're not even close to those hot, dry summer months. And about five miles away in the same county sit the homes on Stinson Beach, which experts warn rising sea levels could destroy within a generation. Here, the impacts of that climate change future have already arrived. Greg Milam, Sky News, Marin County in California.